Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at um, alcohols which are an important um, functional group in organic chemistry. So alcohols are a homologous series and the uh, functional group that you need to be looking for is this one here. So anything that has this functional group is going to be an alcohol and this is the um, general formula for alcohols. Now hopefully you know from your organic chemistry that um, the prefixes relate to the number of carbons so something with um, two carbons is going to start with eth so with six carbons is going to start with hex. The suffix for alcohol is ol now you may think this um, means it's going to be methol and ethol it's a touch more complicated than that, um, and the way you can um, try to remember it is if we take the um, alkane, what we do is just get rid of that and add an ol, ol on the end. So, it is meth and ol. So there are three car, um, alcohols that you need to know about for your GCSE. This is the first one. It has just one carbon on it. And so this is methanol. There are a couple of different ways of writing this. Um, this first way here he is very um, indicative of how it looks. So this CH3 group here corresponds to this CH3 group here, this OH group here corresponds to this OH group here, and then we just have the formula down the bottom. This, this is the next alcohol we need to know about. It has one, two carbons, so this is ethanol. Again, there are a few different ways of writing it. Um, we have a couple of different formulas here. This is the, um, the first one is the formula with the OH group on the end. The second one here is everything drawn out. So the first CH3 corresponds to that bit. Then we have CH2. Then we have the OH group on the end. And then finally just the formula. This is the last one that you need to know about. We have one, two, three carbons. This is propanol. Um, again, we have a few different ways of drawing this, a few different ways of writing out the formula, but if you notice, they all have the same number of carbons, same number of hydrogens, and the same number of oxygens in. So the CH3 corresponds to this bit. Then we have CH2 here, another CH2 here, and an OH here. You need to know some of the um, uses and properties of alcohols. So if we have, if we burn an alcohol, so a, a ethanol burner, um, alcohol burning completely in oxygen, it's going to produce water and carbon dioxide. Um, and here is an example balanced equation for you with state symbols, because we're um, moving on in our GCSE, we're always going to need to put state symbols here. And if we react alcohol and sodium, we're going to get hydrogen and an alkoxide. Again, there's another example of a balanced equation for you with state symbols. So the last property you need to know about is that when we dissolve um, alcohol and water, it becomes a completely neutral solution. The uses are um, ethanol is in drinks. Methanol and ethanol are excellent solvents, so something that doesn't dissolve in water will probably dissolve in um, methanol or ethanol. And uh, bioethanol uh, can be used as a fuel which we produce from sugar canes. So I'm just going to show you these alcohols again, but using um, molly mods, which is something we use quite a lot at A level. So in white, we have carbon here. In red, we have oxygen. This has valence of two, so it's going to have two holes in it. And in black um, is carbon. Um, molly mods um, have holes which we can put bonds in according to the number of things it's going to connect with. So I just showed you methanol. This is ethanol with two carbons. And then finally, we have propanol. Here you can see that oxygen is attached to the middle carbon. Um, it doesn't matter whereabouts it's attached. I'm going to take it off and 
put it onto the last carbon. Even if by moving this around, we're still going to have the same um, chemical elements in there. So it's still going to be an alcohol. Doesn't matter where the functional group is attached, whether it's attached at the middle or at the end, it's still an alcohol.